So in this segment, we're going to be talking about Ian Paisley potentially finally understanding that the Tories don't care about Northern Ireland. And do you know what? He actually makes sense in this video. It's kind of crazy. Like his speech in the House of Commons is it's pretty good for the most part. And you've got another bit here from uh, Colm Eastwood. Um, I think that's his name anyways. I could be wrong. At Colm Eastwood, yes. Um, he makes the point that, you know, this precious union you know where are these people that ca say they care so much about it so we'll watch the ian paisley bit first uh, thank you um, mr deputy speaker i think there is truth to the point tonight that four days into a crisis actually almost five days into a crisis and, and do you know what right this this the, I, I am very late to this i've been sick i'm not gonna lie you're gonna hear that a lot that this thing was said on the 7th of february right it's been over a week and the prime minister and liz truss have barely addressed the issue barely uh, or brandon lewis have barely addressed this issue they are trying to pass a law to keep stormont open um up until the election but very very quiet they've been very quiet and that could be because of the erg but we'll speak about them in a different video crisis the prime minister of this nation has not spoken I think that's wrong. I think the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom ought to have spoken on Thursday evening about this issue. Mm -hmm. And I think he should not have shut up about it until the issue is resolved. I think they are his responsibilities. And when, you, when you've got a crisis, a constitutional crisis, through a prism of a divided community, which is what Northern Ireland is, you create suspicions and you raise concerns unless those matters are properly addressed. And I think it is very obvious to some people that there is a fear that the Conservative and Unionist Party, which governs this nation, is actually a nationalist party, <laughs> an English nationalist party. Someone buy that man a cookie because he's figured out they, you know, he's finally figured out they are an English nationalist party. They don't care about Scotland. Scotland vote for the SNP. They don't vote for. They don't care about Wales. Wales votes for Labour. You know, Northern Ireland. Um, they don't care about that either. You know, Northern Ireland is the thing that's hindering their Brexit. That's the way they see Northern Ireland. They separated Northern Ireland out from the UK single market and customs union for goods. They actively took that decision. They knew what they were doing. So Ian Paisley has potentially finally figured it out. And it's amazing that the DUP cares so much about this union, so much. But this union does not care about them. Does that not scare anyone? They care desperately about this union. Um, to the point where they have put everything on the line, essentially, um, to try and you know beg to stay a part of it. And the union doesn't care about them. Does anyone find that crazy? That is not concerned about a border in the Irish Sea. But it's concerned about a red wall on the island, the mainland island. He's talking about the northern seats, which is true. He's doing, you know, they want to keep those voters happy. Why? Or well, they don't really care about those votes too much, in fairness, because the level up agenda is a joke. But that's their main concern, because that's where their seats are. At. That's where, you know, a part of their stonking majority is up there. And they will do what they can to try and appease those voters to an extent um, without sacrificing the South. Um, but they don't care about Northern Ireland. Not really. Never have done. And that that's what eats them up every single day. And if that is their only concern, then that government is betraying the union mm -hmm. and the unionist people. And that is the reality of where we are this evening. You know, I don't give a lot of credit to, um, to, pe to some of these people, right? Because they don't deserve it. But Ian Paisley's analysis here is is spot on that the Tories are an English nationalist party who only really care about holding on to their majority. So they'll they'll put the red wall ahead of the people of Northern Ireland. They don't care about the union. And that is a betrayal of the union. Because if they did care, they would never, they would never have done the form of Brexit they did. They would never have done it. And the situation is now we know they don't care about Northern Ireland because they haven't they haven't taken the EU's kind of um the EU's proposals on Northern Ireland to resolve some of the issues. All they've done is sabre rattled and use Northern Ireland as a beat, a stick to beat the EU with. Um, and so, yeah, Ian Paisley with some actual good analysis here, which is, which is scary, isn't it? That the penny's finally dropped. And you can see, you can see the hurt in the man's face, to be honest, that he's finally realised 
They don't care. And I wonder what he'll do next. I wonder what his next move is. And this this video here from Colum Eastwood is just you know absolutely just phenomenal as well. You know he's a part of the SDLP, which are a um, a Republican party, and his analysis here again is really good. Avail of the DUP have walked out of the executive. And now we've covered that. We don't have an executive at all. And I hear a lot in this house, Mr. Deputy Speaker, of the precious union, and how this is all about the union. Well, where is the Prime Minister, Mr. Deputy Speaker, yeah. or even his Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, when a key part of that supposedly precious union, uh, the devolved administrations of Northern Ireland, the executive of that uh, of that administration, has collapsed? Okay. Um, from what I've seen, Brandon Lewis did say some stuff on the Sunday news show, so I'll have to see what he actually said. Um, but you know, he hasn't said anything major. He did give a warning to the DUP about collapsing Stormont, but. I don't think he did much more than that. And the simple fact is, it took them about a week to come out with anything. I mean, their response has been almost as slow as mine, which is crazy. Absolutely insane. And, you know, Colin Eastwood makes some very good points here. The fact that it very much appears that the Tories do not care about Northern Ireland because genuinely they don't. And it's a damning indictment on the Union and kind of the Unionist parties in Northern Ireland that they care so desperately about a thing that doesn't care about them. Could you imagine being so desperate to be a part of something that doesn't that doesn't love you back? That must hurt. You know, you can see you can see the pain in the man's face here. I'm not give, I'm gonna give a ton of credit to Ian Paisley, you know, as a politician, but as a person, you can see the betrayal. You can see it, and you know, I'm, these sorts of people, you know, I think he is part of the DUP. They, you know, voted for Brexit. They supported the idea, and it's come back to haunt them. It's come back to haunt them, and a lot of the decisions they have made have come back to haunt them. And, and now they're look, realizing the situation that they've been mugged. The, the, the party, the Tory party, don't care about them. And now they have to come to the realization that what are they going to do next? But um, anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.